I knew you're useless and horrible, so you'll probably only hit it with about 70% accuracy, but having a little conversation with yourself about, as, as if you don't really know who you are, because you know what you're like, you won't do what you're told, you won't do what you tell yourself to do. You must have noticed that, such a pathetic way of spending your time, and you know what that's like, because you probably waste like six hours a day. You don't know what you want to do, and then when you tell yourself what to do, you don't do it anyways. You should fire yourself. Okay, so then what do you do? Well, then, then you turn down to the micro-routines. It's like, okay, well, this is what I'm aiming for. How does that instantiate itself 
day to day, week to week, month to month. And that's where something like a schedule can be unbelievably useful. Google Calendar. It's like, make a damn schedule and stick to it. Okay, so what's the rule with the schedule? It's not a bloody prison. That's the first thing that people do wrong. They say, well, I don't like to have, follow a schedule. It's like, well, what kind of schedule are you setting up? Well, I, sh I have to do this, then I have to do this, then I have to do this, you know, and then I just go play video games because who wants to do all these things that I have to do? It's like, wrong. Set the damn schedule up so that you have the day you want. That's the trick. It's like, okay, I've got tomorrow. If I was going to set it up so it was the best possible day I could have, practically speaking, what would it look like? Well, then you schedule that. And obviously there's a bit of responsibility that's going to go along with that because if you have any sense, one of the things that you're going to insist upon is that at the end of the day, you're not in worse shape than you were that, than at the beginning of the day, right? Because that's a stupid day. If you have a bunch of those in a row, you just dig, you know, you dig yourself a hole and then you bury yourself in it. It's like, sorry, that's just not a good strategy. It's a bad strategy. So maybe 20% of your day has to be responsibility and obligation, or maybe it's more than that, depending on how far behind you are. But even that, you can, you can ask yourself, okay, well, I've got these responsibilities. I have to schedule the damn things in. What's the right ratio of responsibility to reward? And you can ask yourself that, just like you'd negotiate with someone who is working for you. It's like, okay, you gotta work tomorrow. Okay, so I want you to work tomorrow. And you might say, okay, well, what are you gonna do for me that makes it likely that I'll work for you? Well, you can ask yourself that, you know. So maybe you do an hour of, of responsibility and then you play a video game for 15 minutes. I don't know, whatever turns your crank, man. But, you know, you have to negotiate with yourself and not tyrannize yourself. Like you're negotiating with someone that you care for, that you would like to be productive and have a good life. And, and that's how you make the schedule. It's like, and then you look at the day and you think, well, if I had that day, that'd be good. Great. You know, and you, you're useless and horrible, so you'll probably only hit it with about 70% accuracy, but that beats the hell out of zero, right? And if you hit it even with 50% accuracy, another rule is, well, aim for 51% the next week, or 50.5% for God's sake, or because you're, you're gonna hit that position where things start to loop back positively and spiral you upward. Having a little conversation with yourself about as if you don't really know who you are because you know what you're like you won't do what you're told you won't do what you tell yourself to do you must have noticed that it's like you're a bad employee and a worse boss and both of those work you know for you you don't know what you want to do and then when you tell yourself what to do you don't do it anyway so you should fire yourself and find someone else to be but but you know my point is is that you have to understand that you're not your own servant so to speak you're someone that you have to negotiate with and that's and you, you're someone that you want to present the opportunity of having a good life to and that's hard for people because they don't like themselves very much so, you know, they're always like cracking the whip and then procrastinating and cracking the whip and then procrastinating. And it's like, God, it's so boring and such a pathetic way of spending your time. And you know what that's like, because you probably waste like six hours a day 